If you're a heating and air conditioning technician or a salesperson, how do you deal with everyday stress? What are some actions you can take and why does this matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sobon Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. I've got seven, seven ways for you to deal with stress as a technician or a salesperson. And it's important for you to pay attention and take notes because today you may be at the top and tomorrow, well, you may not be at the top. <laughs> and so I have put together this list for you to make it really easy for you to find like, what are the seven, which one of the seven ways do I want to use? Now I would encourage you to pick two or three and then build out your playbook from there. So let's start with number one. One, let's recognize that stress is real. You've got a manager, you've got a business owner and they're like, hey guy, hey girl, where are your numbers at? You're not selling enough parts, you're not selling enough pieces. Where's your membership sales at? Where are your turnovers at? And you're like, wow, this is a lot of stress. Like I thought that I was just gonna be a technician and I was gonna be able to sell parts, or I just thought that I was gonna be a salesperson and I was gonna be able to go sell on my own and they like they were gonna leave me alone. Now you probably work for a performance company and you're like, hey, sales dude, hey, sales chick, here's what you need to know, we need numbers. So they're stressed and you need to meet with the homeowner and they're freaked out, they're like, when's the system gonna be running and how much is this gonna cost? And I gotta pay for little Jimmy's braces and little Becky's you know, uh, cheerleading outfit. <clears throat> There's pressure coming from both ways. Got the homeowner pressure where they need to get the system fixed. Got the management pressure where they're like, dude, chick, you gotta, you gotta get on it. You gotta make your sales happen. Number two, you, at the end of the day, gotta get away from work. And you may have some really good friends. You may have some people that are fantastic that you work with, but if you're literally hanging out with the same people that you work with every day of the week, day in and day out, there's a point where you're like, I just got to get away. And you don't realize that that contributes to your stress. You don't realize that that's part of the thing that's having an issue. So I would highly recommend that you divide up your time and say, hey, here's me time, here's relationship time, and then here's time that I that get to spend away from the people that I work with. This is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not on the YouTube channel, HVACTechSecrets.com. I promise you'll love it. You'll love it. Number three. What you intake matters, not just mentally, but like also the food that you eat. So really good diet and lots of water. So I will share a, a secret with you, not so secret, that like anytime that I'm dehydrated, it makes me sick. And if I, if I get to the point where I'm like not drinking enough water, I, my body can definitely feel it, right? Yep, you can have energy drinks. Yep, you can have soda. Yep, you can have milk but there's something magical that happens when you drink enough water. I'm not a doctor, not an attorney, not a marriage counselor or therapist. If you got those questions, go see a doctor. I can't help you with them. But I will tell you this, there's something magical about waking up in the morning and drinking a big glass of water. It can help you out. Number four, meditate, meditate. So, you know, if, if I had to go back in time and teach myself one lesson, Scott, here's one lesson you need. I would have started meditating a whole lot earlier. And you're like, Scott, I don't know how to do that. Well, here, I'm going to help you. Go to Uncle YouTube and type in 10-minute guided meditation for beginners. And you'll probably have about, I don't know, 600,000 options to pick from. And so here's what's going to happen is you're going to start one and you're like, eh, I don't feel this. Okay, go to the next one. You're going to start that one. You're like, eh, I don't know if I like the music. You're going to go to the next one. You're like, I like the music and I like the voice. That's the one I'm going to go with. And then roll with it a couple of times. Like you don't have to stick to the one that you picked the first time. It may not work for you. Your body may go like, nah, that's not the one that I want. You are gonna know pretty quick. Number five, go to the gym and work out. So if I had to put bookends, I would put meditate on one side, I'd put gym on the other. And one of the things that happens is your endorphins, your blood pressure, all the cool things that happens inside of your body. I'm not a doctor really do work out when you go and you go to the gym. Whether you go in the morning, whether you go at night, I don't care, you can go in the middle of the day and go, go instead of taking lunch. Number six, a set routine sleep schedule. So one of the things that I've been doing lately is I make sure I'm in bed by 9.45, my phone is off, there's literally no noise that comes from it. There's no buzz noise, there's nothing. It's put on silent and my alarm goes off at 4.30 in the morning. It's some of the best sleep that I get, no interruptions. I, I, I'm lucky I don't have kids. Like there's nobody waking me up in the middle of the night. It's I get good sleep. So whatever version of that that you got to figure out, that one's on you. Number seven, go to your happy place. I just happen to love the ocean. I go to 
uh, Bodega Bay or Hawaii once a month, get near the ocean. Could be San Francisco. Uh, if I can't get to the ocean, I'll go to the lake. Folsom Lake's not too far from me, right? Can't go to the lake, I'll go to the river. Sacramento River, American River, psh, they intersect through town, not hard to find somewhere where there's water. My version may not be your version. You may like, hey, Scott, I really like to go to my church property. Fantastic, go there. Hey, Scott, I really like to go to the desert. Fantastic, go there. Hey, Scott, I really like to go stand on the top of high-rise buildings and climb giant towers. Fantastic, go find your happy spot. And I'm going to give you a bonus number eight. Gratitude for what you have. Like every time that I start freaking out in my mind, I'm like, I need to punch up in my weight. I'm going to go write a list of 10 things that I'm super grateful for, right? My list of gratitude may not be yours. I'm grateful for tacos. I'm grateful for chocolate. <laughs> Just kidding. There's, there's better things that I'm grateful for, but I am, I am grateful for, for revised medium rare. So I, I gave you seven, seven things to help you with your stress, but really there's eight. There's a bonus one. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Shh, click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says HVAC Technician Sales Secrets and another fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon.